this, uh, this uh, sort of system is the primary source for observational evidence that black holes exist. Because we can't really see uh, black holes directly yet, uh, we uh, are un incapable of uh, detecting uh, emissions from the black hole itself or from this type of matter as it moves into the black hole. So we can't image that directly. Black holes tend to be very small. So what we get instead are uh, signals coming from this accretion disk, this matter around the black hole, as it heats up due to its friction, uh, as it accelerates and spirals in uh, before falling into the black hole. Once it does, we can see it anywhere. Okay. So one such uh, famous uh, black hole uh, binary is Cygnus X1. Okay. So it's a it's a very strong X-ray uh, source uh, in the constellation of, of the Swan here, next to the neck of the Swan. Okay, so uh, between uh, Albireo and the and the uh, wings uh, of the Swan. So basically, that area over there uh, contains uh, is is a very strong source of X-ray uh, radiation, which comes from synchrotron radiation of this matter coming from a giant companion as it spirals into the black hole. So as the matter from the star starts spiraling into the black hole, it starts orbiting the black hole. As it orbits, different distances orbit in different velocities. So there is shear between different shells of this, of this disk. This shear releases heat. This heat not only speeds up uh, the decay into the black hole, but also releases, uh, re increases the temperature of the gas as it spirals in. Eventually, it gets hot enough that it ionizes and electrons start spinning free around this boundary of the black hole here. Now, electrons, uh, like any electric charges, if they start spinning around, they generate copious amounts of electromagnetic radiation. In particular, they generate copious amounts of magnetic fields. These magnetic fields then create a very strong lane through which matter can then be ejected and it follows the field in jets that follow the globe up and down along the rotational axis of the disk. Okay. So what we see coming from Cygnus X1 is matter being ejected along this uh, area here okay, that is pointing at us. Okay. So this is the matter that we see from Cygnus X1. We can't see the star, it's too obscured by dust, but the X-rays pass right through it, so that's what we can see. Okay. <clears throat> So, uh, another uh, particularly large black hole that we know uh, uh, exists in our galaxy is the black hole at the center of the galaxy. Okay? So, Cygnus X1 is a stellar mass black hole, uh, but our galaxy, and pretty much the center of every galaxy, contains uh, one supermassive black hole, at least. Some of them may contain even more. Uh, 